Hi, Gemini Moons. Thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Femme Carrot, 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Gemini. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For your reading, I will be doing a three card spread of love, money, and you, and then clarifying those three cards. I have already pre shuffled the decks. So we'll go ahead and begin. I'm also going to do a moon card reading at the end here for you. Okay, so let's get your first card for love for Gemini moon. Okay, so I'm getting another stalker alert here. And this having nothing to do with love. I'm going to bypass this. Scorpio may be significant. We're going to leave that there. I do feel that this is immature spying, an attempt to get attention, or someone who may be obsessed with you and may feel that they're in love with you, but this is not an example of love here. Let's see what's on the bottom. Ace of Swords. Where I feel that this applies to the truth and the clarity of what it is that I just expressed here connected to this King of Sword. It could be too that more truth is coming out connected to this energy here. But with this Ace of Sword, I'm going to accept that as this here for you and what's coming here for you as far as love and that being spied on. Um, let's hold this up here. So Swords is your energy here. Even the King of Swords, but that's a reversal energy. Lately, with um, especially with these portal energies that have been coming through, I have been getting that reversal energies um, will come off a little bit stronger in their representation. And I'm just not, I was not getting that for you. I do feel it's speaking to this upright energy versus the down energy there. And you can see the difference in the swords there, too. I'm getting more icy energy. This being connected to some coldness with that energy there. This being more of a cleansing, clearing, high vibrational, energetic, and balanced energy between your twin energy, but then also a connection, as I do see a heart there. Notice I just made a heart shape. And you have two flowers here that have blossomed and bloomed. And that sword going through that crown energy there, I feel that this is death. Oh my goodness, this is Kundalini energy, Kundalini rising, supportive energy here from the ancestors. I do see gold and silver, so this being connected to abundance. And I'm also noticing how elevated this sword is above these uh, mountains, above the mountains here. And I get purple and blue energy. All of that is giving me chakra energy, so throat chakra third eye chakra, crown chakra, and then also the energy of Pisces, Aquarius, Sagittarius, and a Fucus. But the gold and silver being very significant, the rose energy that could be speaking to something blossoming in your life between you and another person here, this being about the balance and the love that you have for yourself that's from within you, that is now creating and manifesting itself in great partnerships that begin on foundations of truth, clarity, honesty, integrity, respect, loyalty, knowledge, higher learning, and expansion. I'm seeing like horn energy here too, where that could be connected to both of you, you and someone else here experiencing a, a certain judgment period. And just coming into new, aces are about new and having nothing to do with the past. I'm getting feminine energy here, possibly connected to that red rose. And then masculine energy. This is a palm energy, California, Florida. Somewhere with more palm energy is coming through as I see this here. This here, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting the Midwest with the flower arrangements here. And then the white energy, um, that could definitely speak to Cancerian energy, this being more Scorpio, Aries energy there with the red. And then even speaking to the Kundalini energy between you both with the root chakra being the base 
and then the white energy being above the crown. So starting at the base and then elevating to above and beyond the crown. Higher realm, higher love, higher realm energy is what I'm getting there. That's pretty. And you have um, energies that have been um, more negative that are on the sidelines watching. Okay, let's get your card for money for Gemini Moon. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles here. And right away I was getting it being connected to this energy here, so... Let's go ahead and get you another card here. That's withholding energy. Part of that coldness. Yep. We'll take it just as I've seen it. Three of Swords reversed. With the removal of that energy, that speaks to this being over. Painful situations, backstabbing, betrayal, third-party situations connected to your money, your vibration, it being over. You're putting a stop to it. You could even be transmuting this energy. I did pick this up a little bit. Transmuting this energy and making it work in your favor where you're really taking a stand. You're really focused on moving forward. You're really laying the smack down and having boundaries, setting boundaries. I did get this with the Queen of Swords too, so that could be resonating there for you. I just, I get this as a lurker in the bushes with a very negative vibe, someone that you definitely possibly have left behind. Um, and they're, they're no longer in the picture, wanting to be in the picture. They may even have Gemini energy and using certain tools and tactics that are out of integrity in order to uh, stay relevant. And they're not because this is the uh, Three of Swords reverse speaking to this type of energy being over. I also see too this upright sword energy that's going through the heart there. And so it could be that with you doing what you need to do and moving on, um, there being some significant pain connected to who it is that you've left behind. So almost like, um, hmm, what do you call that? Karma that's returning. And I'll leave it there. This is more of your energy here. And then also Aquarius and Libra. Three energy, Empress energy is what I'm getting connected to this. Uh, you possibly be having strong feminine energy and being completely disrespected, um, dishonored, um, not being given what it is that you've rightfully deserved as your abundance with this being in the money. And so with that overturning energy, I do get the word windfall. Illumination on this situation here too with that yellow energy. And I feel that that's about you being in truth, standing for your truth and what it is that you represent and no longer standing for just any nonsense. Um, and with that illumination energy that I do pick up from you, I definitely get that sun energy being connected, but your color is also yellow. And so I feel with that connection, it's just kind of shining. You shining through and in your shine, you're reflecting back the truth. You're also seeing more truth and then empowering yourself to be able to bring about endings and new beginnings. So there is no pain and there is no hurt. Okay, let's get your you card for Gemini Moon. You card for Gemini Moon. And we have the moon. And lately with the moon card, I've been getting a lot of energy um, where it's not necessarily about secret. I feel that this is about you being in your power. Because this is a moon card reading. And a lot of the times when the moon card comes out for your readings, any zodiac sign, this is what I get. And seeing the energy of you being the, that ball right behind that heart there. It's like no matter how painful something may have been, you needed to do what you needed to do for yourself here. 
So shining and illuminating a situation so that it could come to an end. Being in your power and taking charge is also what I'm getting. This is a card of 18, comes together to create a nine that brings me to the Sagittarius energy, ninth house energy of Sagittarius. This is also the ruler of Cancer, and Cancer is exalted with this energy, along with Taurus, I'm picking that up too. So that could be significant. Nines are about completion, also about independence. I'm getting nine of pentacles here too. And you being a mysterious energy, you know, you're not relaying a whole lot about yourself, just being yourself and minding your business. But I do get an energy of being elevated. I almost see too with the energy that I got of the elevation here and those mountains rising above. I almost see like the blue energy here from what's beneath these purple mountains here and rising above this being given an offer in a whole different dimension here. So that being the energy there and rising between these two tower energies connected to lower vibrational energies, all going down to the um, depths of the underworld here. And then that Scorpio energy coming through that was being picked up with the unwanted energy. This is um, connected to bestiality energy. Full moon energy could be significant for you in some kind of way, whether it be connected to a situation or your birth chart. But rising above, continuing to elevate and to shine is also what I'm getting. I just, doing these moon readings, um, a lot of the the meanings that come through connected to the moon, it just, it seems so dark and sometimes disrespectful. Like not giving the acknowledgement to the moonlight, hence the word moonlight. The moon does have light. Yes, it does have dark energy, but it also produces light. And that's what I get. And I also see the energy of your two twin energies being here and here. Where it's just like, you know, you being in your element, allowed to be yourself and just shining and resting. I'm getting resting and healing. The next step after the Three of Swords is Four of Swords. So being in that state there too, with that being in the money section there too. So just being in your power. I even see a 10 energy here with this being in the center of it and this being about this whole notion of pain and backstabbing and betrayal and third parties, that stuff being over. Tens are about endings coming into new beginnings and you have that new beginning right here in love. It's like you've accomplished what you needed to in money. You're resting and you're healing and you're elevating and rising. And in the midst of this, it's creating this abundant new beginning. This is being created here for you. It's already manifested because it's here. But you have a new start of abundance. I just get great abundance here. This card is so pretty. All right. Let's see what's on the bottom. All right. Do, do we need clarifiers for you, Gemini Moon? I don't know if we do. You have the freaking sun card. This is more of the illumination. This is the energy I was also picking up here, too. So the complement of both the sun and the moon, feminine and masculine. And then you have that present here. Just as what, oh, my goodness. What I was just saying here and how it's manifested, boom. This is the next card after the moon card. Card of 19 has significant specialness to that number there, too. It's very unique and has an identity all on its own. This is the happiest card of the deck. This is also about rebirth. And how many times has this sun card come up here for you? Leo energy. And we just had Lionsgate yesterday. We are in Leo season here, too, as well. So... Thriving, blossoming, the sunflowers, twin flame energy is coming through here too. You both may be a, a very strong earth energy from within as well. And be a lover of nature and coming together in a connection. Oh, wanting to kiss each other, seeing eye to eye, adoring each other. Almost like just looking at each other and communicating and feeling through one another already knowing telepathic community my ears are ringing telepathic communication is also coming through and this does break down to a um, 10 
which then breaks down to a one. So that 10 energy that I was getting right before I turned this over, right there. Happiness. This is great happiness here too. And that blossom energy, uh, the roses here, getting that being the connection. The truth in between you two, the sword, the air, that vibe, the feeling, the blessing, the abundance, the gold and the silver, being held by the hands of divine. There being a lot of love, and this is an upright heart in comparison there to that reversal there. No longer having pain or disservice associated with love or money. I'm going to leave this. Okay, let's get your clarifiers. We'll clarify the Ace of Swords. Beautiful. Is that you on your bay? That's you on your bay. And that's the Sagittarius energy, but also the fire energy. Um, even the love energy of water sign energy connected to Cancerian energy that I was getting from the moon is coming through here. Receiving a lot of love. Knight of Cups is that love energy that's coming towards you here. This between you and someone else. Now with the Knight energy, I simply get this possibly being a younger energy in the masculine energy. And that is typical for twin flames, so that's perfect. Queen of Wands is a hot, sexy fire bay who's very magical, very spiritual, a go-getter, a great builder, an empress. And we have that with the three. One who knows how to utilize their abundant wand energy here, having been crowned after going through a lot of experiences and cycles. There's significance in the eye where I do see this as being like gem energy. I almost see that as um, being like a diamond in the eye there. And then even here on the beak, the beak being crowned, I'm just seeing all kinds of bling and abundance and royalty connected to this. V energy I am seeing in the feathers here that could be connected to Virgo, even victory, having all these victories and having something to show for it on the cape of, of accomplishment here as this Queen of Wands. Again, Wands is Fire, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and a Fucus. Cups is Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and a Fucus. Someone really loves you if you're this Queen of Wands. And I feel there's a lot of love between you both here just with what we have here. Movement forward and being focused on movement forward into a new beginning and a new start is also what I'm getting here. Queen energy with the Fire connection is also about quickness. Night energy is standing in defense of the element it represents. So love, emotion, something greatly heartfelt. Having deep emotion. That Knight of Cup has deep emotion for this Queen of Wands. Very attractive energy here too. A great mother, male or female energy, um, or a person. The feminine energy is present here. So take what resonates as far as those two are concerned. And I do get it being about the balance from within you, your twin energy and the balance overall, but being about action, great action towards love and a new foundation there of great abundance, loyalty, commitment, honor, integrity, and clarity. Let's clarify the money section, clarify the three of swords reversed. Yeah, because there's been great misfortune. The end of this I almost see this as like mirroring energy and because this is now overturned, focus is being brought on the wheel to be able to bring this in the upright. There's been a lot of great misfortune. And with that three of swords in reverse there, I do feel that that definitely speaks to the ending of this. We do have 10 energy that's present here. So with this also being in reverse, I do get a 10 of swords. With the 10 of swords reversed, connected to the Three of Swords. In between that is the Seven of Swords reverse, so possibly being taken from, not being given to. You did have the energy of withholding from that Reversal King of Swords. Could even be that Reversal energy connected to that Reversal King of Swords and what I was saying about it being more prominent as far as the, um, the feeling from the energy of reversals and being able to have the distinction of what that actually means. So I just get it correlating 
with this energy here. And the withholding, stealing, connected to your security. That four also representing Cancerian energy and security. But this being over, tens are about endings. And the mask of this person. You have a mask here. The mask of this person, you illuminating where that three of swords came from. And then again, illuminating it, it's ending. It's over. Let's clarify your moon card here. Clarify the you section. Clarify the moon card. Okay, I'm going to take that. Ten of Wands. Now we have another ten. With this, I do feel that this is about... Um, this 10 here and the connection to burdens. I even feel like it's still connected to this energy here and what's beneath, what it is that you have risen from. I don't even feel that this applies to you. I feel that this is about something being over and the connection to who that's more attached to. Where I'm getting that Scorpio energy and we did pick up that Scorpio energy with that energy there. Uh, Wands is fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and a Fucus. The green here I do get as a part of some um, envy. There being a connection about work towards the heart chakra. But just with this being underneath this and this just being about the underworld energy, going from this and rising above into elevation towards the air that you know, the element that you know and that you feel and that you're comfortable with. Okay, and then again, this is also about um, completions, endings, learning from cycles, and moving into new beginnings. Let's see what's on the bottom. Queen of Swords reversed. I feel like I want to call this the case of the eggs. Shout out to Maya. What you gonna do when you can't sing no? <laughs> we have pairings here but I don't feel that these are counterparts I feel that these are about the lessons of you and your person having experienced these X energies a very distinct um, coldness there being no emotion a lot of controlling manipulative tactics wanting to get attention still trying to stay relevant it being connected to this burden energy this is about feeling weighed down having a lot on one's plate, heaviness, releasing this and rising above you and your person here. And being in this energy, you're not even present. These are the, the bystanders, the onlookers, the sideline watchers, seeing the happiness that you're now experiencing, you and your person here. Elevating to the sun, that could even be the title too. We're not gonna make it about the exes, I don't think. Okay, let's get your final card. Jeez, I almost, this is, yeah, let's, let's move those. Let's get one more card. I want to get one more card for this moon card. Actually, let's do the sun. Clarify the sun. Action Jackson. <laughs> Three of Cups on the bottom of happiness. Happy. You have two energies of happy. You make me happy. You're in your sunlight, and it's being communicated with the blue energy. Pisces and Aquarius also coming through again. And then that blue energy also being about those blue mountains. I feel rising above that and celebrating the success of overcoming and conquering. That blue energy also, too... Oh my goodness, is in the sword. But this is happiness and celebration here. This is action. Defending the element it stands for, fire, going towards one's love here. Moving into that sun, rising into the sun. This is the rising energy. Boom. That's, that's super dope. Okay. Let's do that there. 
Let's get your moon card for Gemini moon. One card for Gemini Moon. That's so dope. I love that the happy card came out with the happy card. That just shows how happy you are. And confirms the love energy that's here in that new start in the Ace of Swords. One card for Gemini Moon. Oh, and there's the Taurus energy. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. So this is that fruition energy, the manifestation taking place, and now something coming into physical form here. And that full moon energy, the rising energy. You may have cusping energy, or the person you're connecting to has strong Taurus energy in their chart. I do get hair font energy, so that could be also connected to the five energy with the hair font being a five, and a new, a new contract coming into play. And now that your dreams have manifested, it's time to put action into that planning of the physical. This is what I get with that. Let's get the reading. Your dreams need a practical plan, full moon in Taurus. Sometimes you need to weave a bit of magic and sometimes you need to be practical. And sometimes you need to find a combination. I feel like something's coming into play here where there may be a significant move. And sometimes you need to find a combination of the two. And that is exactly what I was getting to, maybe a compromise of how something's going to work out practically so that something can really come together and work successfully. You need to use the laws of attraction to draw in what you want by imagining it, by imagining it expecting it, welcome, welcoming it, but you need to balance that with taking down-to-earth steps towards your goals. This isn't about wishing on the moon and hoping for the best. It's about making something like a list of bullet points about how to achieve your dreams. If you're asking about money, this card heralds a change of financial fortunes, depending on both your past actions and what you're expecting and therefore attracting. Attune to the moon by writing down 10 things that you know are wonderful about you. Additional meanings for this card. Laziness could explain your current situation. If so, change that and own it. You know what? Mm, I'm getting this. I don't even get this for you. Like I was picking that up about something coming into the physical, but you already have it here. I feel that this is from that strong swords energy of trying to control and let you know what they feel about you and think about you and they don't even know you. That's what I'm getting there. Let's get you a new card. Let's get this out of here, too. Let's get you a new card. <laughs> Let's get a card for Gemini Moons, Integral Gemini Moons. Jeez Louise, I felt all through that as I was reading. Like, mm, this don't apply. I'm not feeling that. Okay, so we do have your commitment is being tested. I still feel that's a part of the energy. Let's do Integral Gemini Moons. Gemini moons in the sun with their bay. <laughs> Gemini moons in the sun with their bay. There we go. Believe in the impossible. The unique blue moon energy. And then that blue energy is coming through yet again. How pretty is this card? It's glowing. Let's get this out of here. And I'm just like, mm, it looks like you've already gone through that. You have the Three of Swords in reverse. Speaking to that being over, and you've already dealt with the misfortune. I should have got another card here, too, for your money. We might even do that still. Let me get the reading for this card. And it's on page 112. That contractual energy, though, I do feel some of you are coming into some newness where the plans of what's going to take place, I don't even, it just, it's so whimsical to me. I feel that the overlogical energy of those reversal king and queens are coming through to try to control a situation, but it's, it's about you and your person here and you're already doing this so it's like you don't need to be told what to do 
Believe in the impossible, blue moon. As the saying goes, some things happen only once in a blue moon. In other words, hardly ever. Drawing this card suggests you're about to get a rare chance and that something one-off could well be about to happen. This card is a very positive sign if you felt like you're hoping for too much or asking too much of the universe, right? Whatever you're asking about, well, it might only happen once in a blue moon, but it can happen. However, with this rare opportunity before you, it's important that you believe in it. If you convince yourself that whatever you're asking about can never go in your favor, then guess what? It won't go in your favor. Be grateful for this card, which is a reminder to believe in your dreams. Absolutely. Attune to the moon by affirming, I'm lucky. Additional meanings for this card. Missed a chance and it might not come back anytime soon. What happened may only happen once. The person you're inquiring about is a rare find. There's that gem energy that I was getting with the diamonds. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. The situation is unlikely to repeat. And I don't believe that. I feel that it's, if this is a twin flame situation, there may have been heavy interference, especially with those reversal queen and king energies coming through. And you do have opportunity and you're now taking that opportunity after having dealt with that four energy of the four of pentacles and now a four cup energy of an opportunity coming through the portal energy also being significant and they're just being balanced from within where you're now manifesting okay so the teaching there are usually three full moons between each equinox and solstice and vice versa sometimes though we get four full moons in a single season there's that four energy of security coming through and the Cancerian energy from the moon. When that happens, the third of the season's four full moons is called a blue moon. At least, that was the original definition of a blue moon. These days, it's popular to use the blue moon for the second full moon in any calendar month that has two full moons. Let's get one more card. And I noticed when I put this card to the side, that's what happened there. So let's leave this here. We'll get one more card for your money for Gemini moons. There was confusion and a lot of pain. Someone may have made you an option. It's over. Here's that Ten of Swords that I picked up and the Seven of Swords that was in between it of the deception and the lying. Here's the Seven energy right here. Someone tried to have you confused when you are the main shebang here. You're the main cup and did not deserve to be treated that way. So now fortune is coming in your favor. There being an ending here. The truth coming out and surfacing you highlighting the truth with your sun and moon energy here and it just all being completely tremendously illuminated I should say card is 17 here this comes together to create the energy of your wish the star card the star card is also before the moon card. You've already accomplished this. This is your wish coming true and through, given what it is that you dealt with, that you have now moved on and away from and up towards the sun and into. Gemini moons, this was your reading. And here's the two of cups reverse speaking to that. There was no love in a situation. You were not being given what you rightfully deserve. Gemini moons, this was your reading. I hope that these messages were helpful, enlightening, empowering, and enriching here for you. I thank you all so much for your continued love and support. Welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. <laughs> Take great care. I love you. Enjoy yourselves and have fun. Peace.